Bravo. Okay, here, here is how we dismantle a, a servo from Savox. The problem is uh, taking this part of the servo out. Mostly everyone knows that we can dismantle a servo by taking the screws off. I'll do it fastly. This is the easy part. The next easy part is taking the gear section off. Now, this uh, electronic board cannot be removed easily because there are two screws that that uh, keep this in place. So, how do we take it out without breaking it? Breaking it is easy. We take out the gears. Firstly, we take out the gears with taking the axles off. Okay, these are easy things. You can try them by yourselves. But these two screws here uh, keep the motor in place. It's underneath. I'm taking this motor to show you. So uh, the reason I take these screws off is for this uh, board to slip on the on the left or the right side, just to take off the screws that keep this on. There's no other way you can take it off. So we take these screws off. Very easy. Let's take them off. Okay, so now we can take the board and twist it a little bit, just enough to take to make uh, to take the screws off, which are underneath this. So I have to go in here and take the screws off, or the other side. You see, the board can be twisted. So take this board, uh, th this uh, space. To take the, the screws off, I cannot show the screws, you can see them, they are very deep inside. If you don't take these screws off and try to pull this, these pins here will break from the inside. So, let me take this last screw off, that I cannot show you now. Okay, I got it. This one is off. So. Now, you see, it got free. Here we go. This, this, um, this is like a potentiometer. This uh, shows the motor, the, the step that is in. Goes in here, and you see the, the section with the two screws. If you try to take this board without taking these screws off, you will break. You will break these pins from the from the switch, whatever you call it, potentiometer. Maybe it's a potentiometer. This is how you dismantle um, the motor. Next step is how to see if the motor is burned or the, the board. If you use this uh, multimeter, you, can, you cannot uh, find out at this stage. You will have to take the motor off the board and meter it. Taking the motor off the board, you have to use a solder and, um, and a suction, this and this um, weldings, and this which is, which is ground. Um, I have here, no, I have somewhere else another motor, oh, here we are. Come on, here is, Lipon, <laughs> uh, here is the motor, this is the ground, and these are the two pins. Now you can meter it. You can check if it's burned or not. Uh, let's use this. You use this to see if we have a, a connection break over here. This is plus and minus. You see it's dead. This motor is dead. If it sounds like this, that means the motor is okay and your board has a problem. So you can see if you have the motor burned or the the board burned. This is the main thing. You can have you can sweep uh, change uh, motors and your server will be okay. That's it.